what advice would I give for family and friends? They so would like to help. They would like to be supportive. They would like to do things for you. They would like to be there for you. So many family and friends offered to come help out, be here. But for me personally, what helped the most was the food that friends dropped off at the house, the support of loving words, positive thoughts, seeing myself well and moving well and healthy and getting a good doctor's report, prayers of any form, any religion, I welcome them all, visualizing me as strong, my immune system able to fight the cancer. And while material support in the form, for example, of food was absolutely wonderful, I was often not up to seeing the person who brought the food over. So that too is important to remember. The love is there. My love has always been there, but I couldn't, I was, couldn't interact. It was often too much. Other things that are helpful, cards. I love the cards people sent me. They're delightful. I want, I've kept them to put in an album. They're fun, humorous, positive. I loved the presence that people made, personally made. The friend that crocheted a shawl for me to wear during treatment, or who made a, crocheted a bag for me to have my extra supplies in, or the other kinds of presents that were just lovely and thoughtful and very, very dear. On my own healing journey, there was one thing that I had to be careful of, and that is diet. And that is, I had to, to limit sugar. <laughs> I like sugar. I like chocolate, but I had to limit it. And so I was very grateful for friends and family who brought over non-sweet things that didn't tempt me. <laughs> Much as I would have loved to eat them. I knew that they weren't the best for my body to get my immune system really strong. So asking what they would like to eat, finding out about food sensitivities or allergies, leaving f food at the doorstep um, if, if necessary, those are all wonderful, wonderful things. One of my friends is a trained massage therapist and she came over and helped me loosen some of the knots in my, in my body. At another point, as a, a nurse came over and helped me as a friend shower when I couldn't shower post-surgery in an easy manner. All of these things are very helpful, but if you don't have a specialized education in like massage or, or a nurse's background, being a supportive friend or family member with positive thoughts, prayers, encouragement, the encouragement meant so, so much.
Thank you.